It's being reported by uh, the website United with Israel that uh, during a meeting with uh, Israeli uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and uh, U.S. President Barack Obama, that in this meeting he asked for uh, the U.S. to recognize Israel as the owners of the Golan Heights. And here's what the article says. During the meeting, Netanyahu told Obama that he is doubtful that Syria could be reunited again into a functioning state and that the uh, current situation allows for different thinking about the future status of the Golan Heights. Harzat reported, citing the sources familiar with the situation. Obama reportedly did not reply to Netanyahu's suggestions. Several Israeli figures have recently called for Netanyahu to urge the U.S. to uh, recognize the Golan Heights. Earlier this week, former Israeli ambassador to the U.S., uh, Mike Horn, uh, urged Netanyahu to ask for American recognition of full Israeli sovereignty on the Golan Heights through a presidential declaration and accompanying letter. Israel has uh, controlled the Golan Heights since 1967, but all of the uh, international community, including the United States, do not recognize Israel's uh, sovereignty over that territory. And frankly, I don't look for Mr. Netanyahu, I'm sorry, for President uh, Obama to change that. And, you know, I think this is going to play a part in what will happen in the coming days. And when I say the coming days, I, you know, I'm no prophet. I just know that in time that uh, Israel will be attacked by the Russian army along with their allies. And the Bible makes that plain in the latter days in Ezekiel 38 that this would take place. And you, you can bet when God places the evil thought in the Russian leader's uh, mind and the hook in his mouth that th this great army will come down. Now, there's still a few loose ends that need to be tied up, but many of them are already beginning to come together. But I find it strange that uh, uh, Mr. Netanyahu would make a point of trying to get the U.S. president to not only endorse them as or Israel as the sole owner of this territory, but to also uh, present it in a declaration through a letter. I believe, you can bet, I believe it's going to take probably something on Israel's part in order for to get this done. Now, whether or not this will be part of what the uh, uh, international community will bargain away in order to have Israel uh, uh, join in a, uh, a giant umbrella agreement, Middle East uh, agreement, is hard to say, but I wouldn't doubt that at all. I think when the rapture takes place and the Antichrist does rise up, that this peace agreement probably will include some type of stipulation that they would grant the Golan Heights to Israel. But I don't know that the international community will support it. But we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. But I think in due time that Russia will either dispute it or declare that the uh, international community backs him in taking back the Golan Heights uh, in behalf of Syria. Now it'll be uh, interesting to see what the scenario will turn out to be. Now I believe that uh, it is likely that Israel will probably be in a peace accord Bef uh, before this attack does take place, because it does indicate in verse, or I'm sorry, in uh, Ezekiel 38, uh, in various uh, verses, that Israel will be living in a p under a peaceful situation when Russia does come down upon them. So I think it's quite possible that Russia will dispute Israel's claim to the Golan Heights. And like I said, I'm not so sure that the international community won't back up Russia on that situation, and that this attack, even though it will come under protest by the West. They won't try to stop them. And as you know, in these latter days, in the last month or so, uh, there has been a report that Israel has found a massive oil discovery in the Golan Heights that could very well turn out to be the, the world's largest that's ever been found. Now, right now, they are still in the uh, testing stage, trying to see exactly how big this uh, discovery could be. So I thought I'd just bring this report to you because I, th I th found it uh, highly curious as to why uh, Israel would uh, make this request at this time. And then Mr. Obama has basically said no. And But what I mean by saying no is he didn't answer him, so to me that's a no. And frankly, there's no indication that he's even considering that. But as I stated earlier, this may very well be a bargaining chip that the Obama administration, or at least uh, the European Union possibly, will use in order to get Israel back to the table seriously and to possibly bring them into some uh, larger umbrella deal. And if you don't know the Lord, today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off. Uh, 150,000 people die every single day. The Bible says that the vast majority will end up in a burning hell. Don't 
let that happen to you today you need to come to the Lord if you're not saved and you Christians I have a uh, tribulation period survival guide I would encourage you to get that in the hands of every lost person you know certainly this book I believe will help them uh, and guide them through the uh, tribulation period and give them survival tips that best meet the, the uh, trials that come but best of all this book it uh, tells them how to get saved and that's the first requirement they need to know that they must be born again so get this copy and get a copy of this in the hands of everyone you know well this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report